Hello and welcome once again to another video. Today we are going to be talking about how to use password key symbol as adjective. We are going to be focused on non-progressive passive. So please get ready. We are going to see some examples first about this topic. And if we use adjectives, we can say that Paul is young, Paul is tall, Paul is hungry. But as well, we can use the past participle to describe the status of Paul. We can say then that Paul is married, Paul is tired, and Paul is frightened. So, in this case, as you can see, we are using the past participle as adjective. Why? Because it's giving us the idea of what is the status of Paul. But what is the rule for this? B can be followed by an adjective. The adjective describes or gives information about the subject of the sentence. B can be followed by the past participle or the passive form. The past participle is often like an adjective. The past participle describes or gives information about the subject of the sentence. Past participle are used as adjective in many common everyday expressions. We, let's see some other examples. Paul is married to Susan. Paul was excited about the game and Paul will be prepared for the exam. In this case, notice that we often use the past participles in these expressions are followed by particular prepositions plus an object, for example. Married is followed by the preposition to and the preposition to is followed by an object. Excited is followed by the preposition about and about is followed by another object. Unprepared is followed by the preposition for and the preposition for is followed by an object. So, let's see, in this case we are using the tree then, we are using the past participle as adjective, we are using the prepositions to, about and for, and we are using the objects. In this case the objects are system, the game, and the exam. So first we are placing the past participle verb, then we have to add preposition and then an object. This is for us to give more meaning to the sentences. There is a list as well of some verbs that can be used as adjectives. In this case, we have to use those verbs in past participle. Okay, what are those verbs? We have be acquainted, be bored, be broken, be closed, be composed of, be crowded, be devoted, be disappointed, be divorced, be done, be drunk, be engaged. Also, we can say be excited, be exhausted, be finished. As you can see, each of these verbs has a preposition in parentheses at the end of it. So, this means that if you want to decide or if you decide to use one of these verbs as adjective, First of all, you have to use them in past participle. As well, it is important for us to know that there is the word be before the verb. This is because at the time that we are using these verbs, so we have to use the correct form of be. Remember that we have is, are, or am for second, third, and first person. Now we are going to talk about the participial adjectives, final ed versus final ing. Let's see some examples. If we want to talk about Indian art, interest me. We can say that I am interested in Indian art. It will be incorrect if I say I am interested in Indian art. Also, Indian art is interesting. It will be incorrect if we say Indian art is interested. For us to explain that the news surprised Kate, we can say that Kate was surprised or that the news was surprising. But what is the rule for us to do this with final D, E, D, and final I, N, G? Well, the rule says that the past participle E, D, and the present participle I, N, G can be used as adjectives. 
In the example A, the past participle interested describes how a person feels. But in the example B, the present participle interesting describes the cause of the feeling. The cause of the interested is Indian art. Okay, now in the example C, surprise describes how Kate felt. The past participle carries a passive meaning. What is the passive meaning? Kate was surprised by the news. On the last example, the news was the cause of the surprise. So this is everything for today. If you have questions, please leave them on the comments. You have a nice day. Bye.